everyone, Mike here with another MyCom update. I am proud to announce our newest template is the Death Trooper. Um, for those seeing this for the first time, this is a uh, audio device that we wanted to create um, for our costumes uh, as an alternative to using a mic. Um, I kind of felt that with uh, the mic approach, you know, we strive really hard to uh, get to that screen accuracy and have the authenticity of each Star Wars character. And I kind of wanted to bring that in the uh, audio perspective. So um, this is an eight trigger uh, device that fits into the palm of your hand, as you see. Um, what's nice is you can edit these triggers to any type of audio file that you like. There's 10, uh, the max is 10 files per trigger. Um, and we offer actually um, a, a good amount of templates already. I think we have Kylo, Vader, Stormtrooper, um, and this is now our Death Trooper uh, template. And I'll go into it to show you how it works. So the, um, the first buttons that you'll see here, uh, Chris has the 11, E11D. Yep. And um, these first two triggers here, you'll be able to use as kind of like a reload sound and the other one will be to like actually fire. Um, I'll play those for you in just a minute when we suit up Chris. Uh, these these next four triggers are, um, now death troopers don't speak English. <laughs> oh, um, yep, it's a bunch of mumble. So we decide to segment the sounds in terms of length. So you'll have 10 unique short length death trooper sounds here another 10 short length Death Trooper sounds here, and the next bottom tier will be uh, longer responses, uh, which kind of seems a little bit more like you're having a conversation or you're you know, maybe lecturing uh, somebody who's uh, not doing what they're supposed to be. And then the last one is, uh, is more of a hostile approach. Death Troopers are very scary, and if you want to have more of an aggressive approach, this button will be great for it. And I left the last button open, kind of just for you to use your creativity. If you kind of wanted background music as a loop, you could have that as well. If you want to have somebody like kind of call in, like through like a, um, what's the device that they use that they? Um, like to call in and say, uh, you know, come to the launch bay or come from there from that Sure, side. sure. Somebody using some sort of intercom or comm, whatever, calling you to, to leave your station. Um, you can be as creative as you want. And, and essentially, I mean, if you really want to take it to the next level, I mean, you could wipe the whole thing and rearrange it yourself as however you like. Um, so now, uh, we're gonna use my buddy Chris here. Hi, how's everything going? It's Chris Sulo. Um, I've been on the forums uh, for a while. Uh, the number is uh, TX12459. You guys see all my posts. I was one of the original Death Troopers that got approved. And then now I'm doing my second one, so I'm just trying to make it more improved. And with this system, I really thought this was going to take it to the next level. So um, I'm also a Kylo. I know a lot of you guys are Kylo, so you may be familiar with the system a little bit. Um, so uh, when I got with Mike, we talked about doing one for the Death Trooper, and so this is what we're going to do. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and suit Chris up to show you how you would wear this rig with your costume. Hey guys, so uh, obviously this is our first layer of your undersuit. Um, this particular one uh, has there, so you obviously you got your buttons. You just simply run your wires up your uh, left arm and then obviously out on the bottom of your undersuit. So there's a, a couple different ways that you can do this. Obviously, if you have the pant style, you can just put them in your pants. Um, and then also they have these things called like belly belts or uh, you can put your pouch in there. Like you can use them when you go to work out at the stations or something like at the exercise or whatever. And you would simply put this inside there with the battery. So we'll show you what the battery and then the speaker looks like at that particular point. But it's that simple. You simply just put it down your left arm, you got your triggers over here in this hand, and that's it. All right, so um, obviously this is what it looks like here. Um, Mike provides a uh, battery pack that goes like this. It's a really good battery pack. You have your 3.5 millimeter jack that's gonna go to your speaker, where we'll show you where that you know may go or where not. And then you have USB. So simply, you got your wires. Again, if you have that billy wrap, you'd simply just tuck it inside of that, and then that would sit like here, or if you had it underneath your layer, you'd put it underneath here. In this case, I've got a pair of jeans on. Um, when I wear Kylo, I actually have the, the jeans that are the wax, so I have the pockets, and it would simply just go in there just like that. So that it's there. So again, you have multiple ways of where you'd want to put it. That's just typically where I use mine, uh, both with Kylo, and then I have that belly belt that I use for the Death Trooper. 
So guys, this is a uh, Philips speaker. Uh, by all means, you have many choices, Acre and all the different ones. Uh, this one here is a speaker that's got lots of bass. Um, it sounds really good. On the back, it's got two pieces of Velcro um, with uh, Kylo. That's how I had it there. And on my Death Trooper, on the other layer of this uh, undersuit, I have uh, the Velcro there as well. So obviously, we have our chest plate that comes over. You got plenty of room underneath of the chest plate. So this would simply mount right there so you can uh, put your armor over top of it and no one can see it. And it sounds amazing. All right, so I'm going to have Chris demonstrate how he uses the MyCom with the uh, Death Trooper. So um, with the top uh, level or top tier for the buttons, uh, the first one that we have is a like a reload for the E11D. So you'll have that sound effect. And then on the other side of that top button, you have uh, five different blaster sounds. So that's the charge. And that's the shoot. Now, um, the blasting, the shoots are somewhat the same, but there's very small variations between the four shoots. There you go. Um, the next two triggers are uh, short Death Trooper um, sounds. So, So those are the next two uh, buttons. You'll have 20 lines there. And then the next series of two buttons are longer responses. So you can just hear another long one, Chris. Uh, and then the last one is the hostile sound. <laughs> I really like that one. Yeah, if you really want to get in somebody's face, uh, you can <laughs> use the hostile sounds, which is great. And then I said, as before, the um, the, sh the last one's empty for you to use. Cool, guys. Thanks so much for uh, giving us uh, a view. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Or uh, we have a Facebook page, YouTube page. And um, if you have any questions, just shoot us a message. Absolutely. Message. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Have a good one.